Okay, I'm not in focus yet. I just wanted to get the wide angle of this. This is the plug attached to the fan. Let's read what's on there if we can for a minute. Can everybody see that? Okay, you can pause the video and get a good view of what that is. Okay, so that's the fan plugged in. And let's focus in on this as best we can. You see it says eight hours. Okay, come on now, let's focus. Sometimes it doesn't want to focus in, but I want to. There we go. Time to empty 8.5 hours. And as you can see over here, this right here, these two are not plugged in. I want you to go back to the other videos and see when we put a small amount of energy back into this, which this has no energy in. Okay, no energy going in. Nine watts coming out of this thing. You're only getting eight hours. Okay, as soon as we plug something in here and a little energy is going in here, this goes up. That's one of the things we wanted to tell you about looping and how to preserve batteries, how to get a longer run time, okay, out of your batteries. Okay, now this pass through charging, so that means that it will charge the batteries and give you energy out just like your phone does. And we're going to talk about the last video what is the definition of over unity? Okay, let's go back down to the basement and I'll be right back. Before I go down to the basement, I want to do one more thing. As you can see, we got eight hours on there, which we have. I just wanted to show this again. Let's take five volts, two amps, and plug it into the system here. Let's see? And just watch this climb. That's two, four. Look at this. Okay? That's giving you more power. Okay? And that'll just keep climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing. Okay? So that was in the other videos. When you want to see more of this, just go to the other videos. You'll see that being in there. And you can see what we're, the energy we're putting in from the other videos. But... I just wanted to show you how you can get more out of your batteries and we're going to talk about those different settings. Now let's go down to the basement and uh, talk about over unity. Okay, we're down here in my shop. Uh, everything is still running and operating the way I wanted to run at this time. But we're here to talk about over unity and what I'm going to do with the rest of this system. Okay. So while we're talking about all this stuff, let's explain why I did the video. Um, I did the video because there is no other definition out there anywhere on YouTube or anyone. Everybody makes this claim more power out than in. That tells you what the item does. It does not describe what it is. Okay? I don't care what devices and stuff that you do because it's over a thousand different people claiming over unity. Why are they all claiming over unity? Because they're all trying to use more power out than in as a definition and that is not a definition okay that's just what it does it's a it's a catchphrase okay and everybody got used to making this catchphrase and i says well describe or give me a definition what over unity is and no one could actually 
do it. No one. And then I wrote to people on, on YouTube and other places. Hey, tell me, give me a description. I know what it does. It gives you more power out the ding. But there's so many other devices out there that do that. That is this over unity? You put you take this device, you put some voltage in on, on this end, and it gives you more voltage out on this end. Is this over unity? Huh? So the whole point is, is that it's a lot of devices out there. And I, and I try to tell people before I gave the answer, okay, because I'm the person who produced and made up the word over unity, okay? So I says, hey, man, you know, um, if you're given a definition, it's describing what it is so we all can say, okay, this guy says this is what over unity is, and we go with that. But they can only give you that catch that catch phrase more power out than uh, more power in than you put out. That's everywhere. And no one can tell you anything different from what over unity is. So here I am. I says, hey, I'm the guy who did it, man. And they was like, oh, no. Or somebody says that's a big claim. All those things are said with the least information and everybody's believing the least information and i'm gonna be making another video one more video about it because i want to show you all these contraptions all this other thing and the original guy they said this is the guy that made over unity and he shows this magnet going up a hill and then it drops through a hole and he's done it's done and i was like that's supposed to be a perpetual motion machine and even the scientist says it stopped. It doesn't work. That's why they name it perpetual motion. So I says, hey, man, look at all this evidence, which we're going to show in the next video when we put it all together. All the evidence they gather on what over unity was supposed to be. And then I, the person who actually claims that he created over unity, came out with the definition and is now copyrighted okay is now on they of course they don't want to see it they don't want to believe it but it's the only definition out online to this date the only one and nobody else has any other information about over unity whatsoever because they can't describe exactly what's going on and there's so many uh, apparatuses on there if you go in on these machines in here you'll see transformers in there and they'll step up the electricity take a little electricity and step it up to a higher electricity is that more power out in is that more energy out uh, um, they, so you put a little energy in and you get a lot of energy out is that over unity the whole point is is that all these people are claiming over unity but they never tell you exactly how it's done. So when I show them a definition and use the word that's never been used before, that was ADC, ADC, alternating DC current. And then the definition tells you everything else you need to know about what over unity is. Okay, so let's talk about that. How did we get over? What, what does over mean? It means switching over to another battery or switching over to another direction. That means if you're variating or var a variable, you're taking the V, which means variable, and you says, hey, I want to switch to something else going into another direction. Okay. So what you do is you say, okay, I'm gonna take a battery source and I'm going to discharge and then one is going to charge. And you can do this with batteries, you can do it with a switch, you can do it with everything. But it's, if it's coming from a battery, it's gonna be DC. It's just what direction you want to do uh, with your batteries. Here's another thing about over unity. If I take this, a battery, and put it into this one 
and then I variate it again. That's V over one. Battery is the one, and we'll confirm that. That's all they knew. Hey, some pe some people knew, not everybody, but some people knew that a hey, one means the battery, the unit. Okay, and this right here goes up here, and I says, hey, this will only run this. But if I switch back and forth between these two really fast, I can run both of them. And when you go over to the other one, that is over. That's what the over meant. Okay? And then the unit, this was the unit. And because they are attached together, unity, all in one. Okay? And that switch was very important because you can do so many things with it. That's the reason why in the beginning of this video I wanted to show you by putting a little power into something that you can increase the battery. Okay? Or you can take the batteries and you can leapfrog that to another battery. So one charges and one discharges. And what did I tell people where it came from? A water wheel. That that's, shows you over unity. It's one big pay, uh, thing, one big wheel, and it spins in a circle. Why? Because the energy going into you is forcing it down, the weight, and then it pours out. So the equal amount of energy going in is the equal amount of energy going out. Now, if I have a bunch of roll of these batteries, when I want to do it, uh, take it off of water and switch it to batteries, I'm going to have all these batteries in a row. And then I'm going to go to battery, to battery, to battery, to battery, and to battery. And one is going to charge. Why I discharge this one, this one over here is going to be charging. And then when I flip it back, this one is going to discharge and this one thing. And if you do that real fast, all of a sudden these batteries don't drain. It does what I showed you in the beginning of the video. These things start running for long periods of time. And such thing that I ran one experiment for seven years. But it was very low voltage because they do have a threshold. Because you can only put so much energy into a battery. So we came up with some other tricks on there. Which no one knows. Because if this is not over unity. How are you ever going to know? Now ask those other guys out there. What is over unity? So we can finally know what over unity is. And then find out. Guess what? They're never going to hook any of that to their house. Because it doesn't work. It doesn't work. So all them over unity things, I was like, hey, dude, are you running anything with it? What do you do? Are you running a boat, an RV, anything? What are you doing with this great invention you invented? Absolutely nothing. And I says, well, I come in here and, they, and then guess what? I switch from this over to this and then I can do that, flip flop them or have a bunch of them and run it in a, in, in a long row. And all of a sudden, I'm doing something with it, which I showed you the video, which is in the beginning of this one. And I sh I'm going to sh I'll show you more as we hook up this rest of this system and get it all up and running. And it says, look at the run times that I'm doing all because I'm doing over unity. Discharge and charge, which means when you do this, that's called fluctuation okay that's called fluctuation so guess what because they hold great capacity the flux capacity now they came in here all oh, the flux capacity they were just putting a dig on me because they was just trying to say I was crazy that's why the guy whose name is Lloyd the same as mine I, my name is Lloyd first name at that they were making a dig on my success of giving information on stuff they said was impossible. All my teachers and everything that I showed this to, and he was like, that's a made up word. Alternating DC current, you can't do that. And I says, yeah, if I take this DC current, it's going out. I got positive and negative. So say this finger is, is positive and this one is negative, And I got them together. If I jump from this terminal to this terminal over here, this terminal over here, it's the same thing. That's what? DC. And if I'm putting DC here and putting DC here, guess what? If I flip back, back and forth, that is fluctuating DC or alternating DC 
power. That is over unity. And what happens to the battery? Look at the beginning of the video again. That's what happens to the battery. It starts to climb and you're getting more energy into that battery. It starts to climb. That means you can get more time out of that battery. That's what over unity was. And now all these other people claiming over unity and everything like that. Okay, let them claim it. But now that you see the definition, now that you see the explanation on all this, all I'm telling you now is watch how people will try to steal uh, um, bits and pieces and break this down so they can make it fit into their scenario because they never owned it, the word in the first place. They didn't know what it was. Now, this is documented. Okay. And we can just leave it as there. This is now documented for history. And now let's see what they do now. Let's see what they say that they haven't said since 1983 when I started on this project. Okay. All the way to this date to date in the 20th century. They none of them could tell you what over unity was and now I have let's see what these people do and they can deny it all they want to and that in the first thing I'm going to do deny what I'm doing I want to see it hooked to your house I want to see it hooked to your RV I want to see you running this for long periods of time just like I showed in my video how all that power just by putting a little power into it and you had energy coming in and energy out, but now when you fluctuate this, you're going to do the same thing. It's called alternating, and Nikolai Tesla did this about alternating, okay? And when you start alternating all different types of things, you're going to start seeing what you see in AC in the first place, an increase of energy, okay? Now, Robert, Robert Murray Smith did a video on this. And people got down on him. Why do you even mention this? Of course they're going to get down on him. Why are they going to get down on him? Because the simple fact is, is that he showed if you fluctuate something, you're going to get four times the energy out of it. And he proved it. And he said, that's all I'm interested in is to prove that this is viable. And I'm going to put that uh, um, video in the descriptions below so you can go and watch the video. And, and it says, look, dude, it matches my description or definition on what uh, over unity is and if everybody start flying uh, uh doing this you're going to do incredible things so those people who had two motors and they want to run uh one is a generator and one is a motor guess what if you put over unity in the middle which is a device a measurement and what's name and flip it back and forth all of a sudden when you do that if this battery can run that motor and you flip it back and forth to charge and discharge, all of a sudden, when you charge this battery back up to its original thing, and then you discharge this one and then you flip back over to this one, all of a sudden you're going to see that your motor will do what it was supposed to do. And no one can tell you that because they won't do that. They won't put that fluctuating DC current in there. The flux capacitor, if you want it there. It is the flux capacity. But if they won't do that, they will never find out what over unity is. Now, I've already told you everything you need to know. There is more. I'm not going to tell you anything. Buy my book if you want to know more. That's the whole point. But meanwhile, I'm going to start keep doing this and keep putting energy in my grid. I'm going to be testing this. Why? Because all this information that I'm doing is going in my books. Okay? That's the reason why I'm doing it. Step by step. Building this process. So we can show you what it is. I just needed to get over unity out of the way. And finally. Finally put out a definition. Which I stopped because of the movie. Uh, uh, Back to the Future. I was so mad that they were trying to steal or make fun of it. 
but that's that's my mind okay i'm not saying that they did and wasn't it could be all a coincidence but that was a hell of a coincidence so i said boom you know what i'm not going to give them any more information and then everybody started making everything up what over unity was and i want to show you in the next video what they actually said did and where they got oh this is over unity and when you see this device you're going to have a good laugh because you're going to say wow if that's over unity dude who wants to use it it doesn't do anything and that's why all the scientists named it perpetual motion okay but it's not perpetual motion it can be measured it has a physics term to it which is all in the dick uh the actual definition so now when you go to youtube and you say what is the definition of over unity my video is going to come up and then you'll be able to see the definition and all will go from there thanks i'm out and thank you for listening to what i'm i have to say enjoy the next video to this series where we just make a big laugh over all these people talking about I've did over unity and find out it does nothing and guess what I followed them for years and because I followed them for years they did nothing with it none of them it has went nowhere okay those devices just sit there and collect dust they'll never attach it to their house and if you do I'm gonna give them props so I'm out all right. Thanks, everybody. Bye.